six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Faster. One, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three. With the right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Three, four, five, six, faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and one. Uh -huh. Okay, so whole thing. First, canarita. So, first part, we start with elevation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we do surplus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we do chasse to the right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we do forward, close, side, together. Then we do spiral five, six, seven, eight. And then we do uh, like a forward side cross behind. One, two, three, four. So that was our first part. Now second part starts with a twist turn. One, two, three, four. Elevation five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. So here let's try to project both arms forward. One. So it's like we grab like a swim. One, two, three, quick turn, four and five, six, seven, eight. Continue with slow but the follow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With the quick one, one and two and three and four and five, six, seven. Turn to the left, eight and one. Chasse two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chasse to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And final position. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, and three, four. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, twist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, 
one, five, six, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basically, this is kind of what is the sequence of how we how we build up fast and how we get good feel of it. Well, first of all, of course, we learn the steps. Then we learn the rhythm. So that's kind of basic. Uh, then from there, we want to figure out that rotation. So like every everywhere in ballroom, for example, yeah, if you know. So fast again, it used to be in a ballroom program back. 30, 40 years ago, so it's a lot of similarities. So if you dance ballroom, you always know which side is active. Like if you dance tango, you know like all the Sibin P positions, boom, boom, boom. So with Paso, there will be no step when you don't use contra body movement. Yeah? So contra body movement is the first thing you practice or you're gonna uh, figure out. You turn into the right, or turn left, turn and right. So your top is essential for you to be coordinated and be on time. Then, kind of, as second second part of the same feeling is that uh, sway. So if okay, if I turn into the right, I'm going to stretch my right hip. If I turn into the left, I'm going to stretch my left hip. Uh, there may be mm, some exceptions, but I would say 99% of times you're going to do like this. Kind of, I'm pushing one thing, one side forward, and stretch the other side up. Pushing one side forward, the front one, and the back one I stretch up. Now, in terms of your arms, it can be as simple as kind of keeping them in hips. As long as you do twist and sway, it's gonna look good. You can have them in low position, rib cage, over the head, side, and maybe behind you. Positions can be different. You can, well, I prefer most of the times focus on one arm. So I'm gonna park, park a lot here, and then I'm going to do the other thing with the free arm. With some exceptions when they both going up or you extend space with both arms. And the last and most important, it's the way you are using your energy. So, let's say, we should be able to do one step for like eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Without losing that, how to say, potential energy. So we're not just step and wait, we develop. Develop, 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 develop. So all those movements, weight transfer, twist, sway, and arm styling, we spread out for the uh, required amount of beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or also we can, we should be able to do it extra quickly. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So basically we switch between those movements very very slow like a cobra well okay cobra is a good example cobra before the attack and cobra during the attack kind of deadly deadly fast